Yeah. All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayemba and we're live on Revolutionary Cam. And family, we're here in Cape Coast. And we're here at the African Holocaust Dungeons. And family, uh, I've been to Ghana 19 times. And I want to say I've been to this uh, Dungeons about 15, 16 times. And it never gets old, but the most important thing is every time I come here, just like uh, any other uh, Holocaust Dungeons, I bring new and fresh energy of brothers and sisters from the African diaspora to learn about what happened to our stolen African ancestors during the transatlantic European slave trade. Or if we're there and somewhere else and we're talking about the Arab slave trade, we're talking about something that this, uh, I've never stopped. Uh, but when we're talking about uh, enslavement or stolen Africans, uh, we're talking about a consistent story. Because even now to this day, we as a people are still feeling what happened to our stolen African ancestors. Uh, the most important thing is those of us that were taken from the door and our return, we have built an energy of now we are returning. So those of us that are returning, it has to be more than just returning. We have to take advantage of opportunities in the country where we put our money together with other Africans in the diaspora and other Africans on the continent and build a global black empire. And that's why our program is all about Africa for the Africans. Uh, for, uh, for those of all us at home on the African continent and those of us abroad in the African diaspora. Uh, and this is uh, legacy information and energy. Our t-shirts are all Mark, uh, inspired by Marcus Garvey. Because Marcus Garvey was one of those visionaries that saw that we as a people can and should do the same thing as all other great nations of people. And that's why he coined the phrase or added on to it uh, based on other people who have laid their foundation. Africa for the Africans and and we literally literally mean that concept so when we're making things we're making it in Africa uh, for Africans we're, we're opening up trade routes we're doing import export we're expanding into the African free trade agreement mm -hmm. uh, we're taking it to the other level and yesterday all you saw yesterday was from land to unfinished homes to foundations to homes of walls up homes of roof on homes that are unfinished on the inside. And then showing you the rest of the neighborhoods that we were in from Jahadzi to Winneba, which is right in the central region, and showing you that how the, the growth is coming into the country. So we want you to reconnect, but also get a piece of Africa, get you a piece of land that um, has a group concept or have a, a love love concept where it's not just you living somewhere in the middle of nowhere and then you don't have connections with anyone else. So that's one of the most important things, family. For those of us that are reconnecting to the ancestral land, is that the fact that we don't make the same mistake that we have made in the diaspora uh, by not putting our corporate and economic energy together. Uh, so that's why I personally do a whole lot of networking events. The whole tour is networking energy. So once we finish our tour in the daytime, when we're having dinner and we're going out, it's the social energy of connecting and talking to other people. You, know, you meet people, you never know, you can do business with people in the future. You can also connect energy on how you can just, you know, make things happen. So family, broadcasting as we sh turn and show you where... Kwabena, are you going to uh, are you gonna return everybody to the bus? Yeah, I'm just sending them to the bus. Yes, please. Uh, so we're trying to get everybody back to the bus. Yeah. That way we can uh, head back for lunch. Mommy, uh, 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 where is it? Where is it? The, the, the uh, entrance fee. Oh, well, he took I've care of it. Already, I've already uh, we took care of it. No, and no, here we go. No. And I'll talk to you in a second, please. Yeah. Uh, we just, uh, I just wanted to give everybody. A, okay. This is Kogna okay. Bakai. He's always trying to talk in our Our videos. Man. So if you, hear, <laughs> if you hear that same energy, this is the same brother talking mm -hmm. to our videos. But that's why we have to coin it like raw and uncut. Because yeah. we are, <laughs> sometimes I never get a piece of this to do a full video. But um, anyway, I appreciate your energy Thank and you everything. Bro. I know you have brought more people here than anyone else probably, yeah. uh, at least oh, several yes. hundred people. Oh, yes. Yeah, over the years. And Even we, including Anderson Cooper yeah. of CNN and, <laughs> and, and, and many people, others. It's about education, it's education about education. educating the world about exactly. what happened here. And that's why I was showing everyone the cannonballs exactly. and things that I've shown everyone that basically you had a situation where you had Europeans fighting other Europeans to control the trades of stolen Africans, just like they fight in different ways to control yeah. Uh, military warfare, control goods, services, control natural resources and everything. It's an ongoing situation and we're trying to get us ready to put our energy together to build straight black economics. Right, right. So we're encouraging the people to come and return to the ancestral land. That that's part of the mission. 
coming back and finding other people, you know, in Africa, from the diaspora, wherever, just black people in general, put their money together and make some things happen, right? Oh, yes. And one thing we have to That's tell people, great. the African banks are growing, because people used oh, to make yeah. jokes about yeah. some of the banks, talking about when you come back, the banks are going to be closed, yeah. and things like that. <laughs> uh, you need to um, come over. The reason is that we've talked about it. Have you experienced it? You need to experience it. Now, you need to invest here to be able to give some business to your brothers and sisters over here. You always said, oh yeah, I'm an African, I'm an African. Yes, but your brothers and sisters over here doesn't have job. And you have the technology there. You have the money there. Why don't you bring it, set up a business and give a uh, some job to your brothers and sisters over here. The door has been opened. We just came uh, through the door of return. Yeah. So please, you are invited to come to this nation. Ghana belongs to you, and Ghana belongs to all of us. God bless you. Well, my brother, appreciate it. And family, the journey continues. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs>